Hey everyone, I'm Kel, and welcome to another CCG Graveyard. Today we are delving into the classic Middle Earth CCG with the very first set, the Wizards. This is an unlimited edition booster box, as you can see here. We're going to open up this entire box and look at all of the cards. This is going to be a pretty chill video. There's not exactly anything we're hunting for. We're just going to kind of experience the, the pageantry and the classicness of this old, excellent card game. This video is basically one of four videos that I'm doing on the Middle Earth CCG. I already released kind of an extensive video going over that. Check that out on the channel. I should have a link in the description down below. But if you do like this kind of stuff, expect more because I am going to be opening up a box of the Dark Minion set in addition to a box of the White Hand set gonna open up all of these on the channel in the next couple of weeks or so in addition to all of my other card game variety stuff that I got going on anyway enough talk let's open the box we have this classic cardamundi circle seal I'm just gonna try to get it along the edge here and kind of pop it off don't need a box cutter for this kind of stuff you know this is this is like 25 years old the set came out in 1995 though this was the limited edition so I think it uh, came out in two or in 1996, I think. Anyway, let's kind of open this up. We're gonna be nice to the box. Oh man, we have the classic Cardamundi. You can kind of see some of the old, the age on here. The classic Cardamundi packs. Oh man, I love this stuff. It reminds me of old Magic the Gathering because you know it's printed by the same people who did the old school Magic the Gathering stuff. Unlimited booster pack. Jeez, look at that thing. Wow. We're just gonna open this up now. I know, I know I'm, I'm feels like I'm stalling, but I'm just kind of taking and taking it all in. Um, I'm not sure where the rares are in the packs, but we can kind of figure it out as we go. Um, and I, if not, then I have a little um, a booklet that has all the rarities. And you know what? Hold on, I gotta smell this. Oh, dude, it smells it smells amazing. It smells like old magic cards. We have Mount Doom, the Rings Betrayal, Quick Beam. And Ash Mountains. I have a feeling. Bleh, I have a feeling that these three were the uncommons, and then Ash Mountains was the rare. I think that's how it is. We have Biffer or Boffer, not Biffer. Get the right dwarf. Uh, Linden, a place where a lot of elves are. Halfling strength. Lebanon. Ethelian. You get a lot of these like location type cards. Interesting. Got some clouds. Wait, I think clouds might be the rare. I think clouds might be the rare actually. Wolves, Precious Gold Ring, Sword of Gondolin, River, and Farsight. Hold on, let me get my little booklet and we'll see which one is the rare. All right, so here is the little cardless booklet that came with the old school gift box um, with all the rarities. This is kind of like a checklist of all the rarities in here. So let's look up Ash Mountains real quick. So Ash Mountains is actually a common card. Let's see what Clouds is. I'm pretty sure Clouds is a rare if I remember right. Let's go to the hazard events. Uh, let's see, clouds. Yeah, clouds is a rare. Rare clouds. So the rare is gonna be like meshed in with the pack. Very weird, we're gonna put the rares up here. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna organize this. We're gonna go a little bit quicker though. Cause I don't want this video to take too long, though that was pretty easy to crack open. So we have the sun. Sting, yeah, I'm pretty sure the first three cards are uncommons and Awaken the Earth's Fire. And then we have some location cards. So it's probably like Uncommons, Locations. I guess still have the Halfling Strength mixed in with the locations, weird. More locations, and then Shadow Facts. Okay, Shadow Facts is definitely a rare. And then we have the final couple cards are common. So maybe like the final five cards are commons. Let's see how that works out. So we do have Shadow Facts, it's pretty cool. Uh, Awaken Minions, Test of Lore. Orc Warband, Vanishment, and Ghosts. Pretty sweet there. So yeah, so I'm gonna set these inside. I'm gonna assume those are all common cards. I don't think there's any rarities to the location cards. Oh dude, the packs are like sticking together. The packs are all like, you know, like it, they've just been sitting in that box for so long that they're kind of sticking together. I don't think this box has been tampered with. First of all, no one's tampering with the Middle Earth CCG. And second of all, we got a Shadow Facts. So we have Ost and Edwil, I don't know how to pronounce that. Dwarven Ring of Thalor's Tribe, Palantir of Elastor. Oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce that either. Elastirian? I'm gonna go with that. So I think those are uncommons. Then we have Persuasive Words. 
and then some other cards. We've got Hama, Redhorn Gate, Old Friendship, Balance of Things. So I'm pretty sure Balance of Things is the rare. And then we have five cards after that. So I think that's really how it is. We want to tell, you know, five cards from the back. Those are going to be, you know, it's going to be the rare from there. So we've got Brigands, Lost in the Wilderness, Old Forest, Awaken Denizens, and Twilight. This set is actually, well, not just this set, but this card game is actually really sweet to open because unlike most card games, I'm, I'm really gonna get this chunk out here. Um, you can play this game by yourself. You don't need like another person to play. So, you know, if you don't have another person to play or you just kind of want to collect and then play by yourself, you can totally do that. You have Woodman, Use Palantir, Watcher in the Water, Halfling Stealth. This one might, is it four uncommons? I think it's three uncommons, but uh, I, I'm not entirely sure. Then we have all these. We got, ooh, got Nori there. Got more of these. So we have four long, and then Dalaman. This is a dragon. This is definitely the rare. Very sweet. Then we have Brigands, Lost in the Wilderness, Old Forest, Awakened Denizens, and Fellowship. You're gonna see a lot of the same style cards here. All right, look at this. They're all stuck together, like 25 years worth of just being stuck together. Some of the packs are better than others, but these ones are pretty ridiculous. So we're gonna open up these ones first, I suppose. The other packs in the in the box are like totally fine, but man, just so long. Imagine like trying to like resell this box and tr try to sell the packs like individually. Um, yeah, that's, that's actually completely absurd. Maybe they were stored in a very like moist environment or something. The cards themselves seem totally fine. Like, yeah, they're, they're totally fine. So we have Plague of Whites, we have Oin, Scroll of a Sealed Door. I think it's, yeah, just the first three. Just the first three are uncommons. And we have some common cards here with some of the locations. I'm not going to go over all of them. Anduin River, Anorian. We have Andrew Flame of the West. Really sweet rare card. I talked about Andrew in my, um, my, like, kind of overview of the game because I think the card's really cool. There's a lot of sweet flavor with that card because you can get Narsil and then you can play the reforging card and then you can reforge it into the Andrew which is very cool, very cool, very, very flavorful. We have the Wizards River Horses. Watcho, Wizard, Wizards Flame. Pretty sweet card, so I'm pretty sure those are the uncommons. And we have Botelli, Edelhond. A lot of these, like you don't actually need these cards to play, honestly. Um, you can use just a map if you have a map. We have Army of the Dead, very, very sweet rare. Um, I like this card a lot. We have Sword of Gondolin, Awakened Minions, Wargs, Gold Ring, and Far Travels, or Fair Travels. Yeah, I really like the Army of the Dead. I kind of want to build a deck, like a solo deck, out of Army of the Dead, because I already have one. So I want to build another deck, and then just, or not build another deck, but build a deck all around it, um, using Aragorn, and trying to get as much points as you can. Um, kind of like solo style, like a solo deck. I think that'd be really cool. We have Anborn, Align Palantir. Um, what is this? Woses of Druiden Forest. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that one right. Um, Dole Amroth. I know some of the names, but some of them I'm just like, dude, I don't know. I've read it a bunch. You have A Friend or Three, and then Gwahir. I think Gwahir is the rare. It is. It's one of the Eagles. A unique playable at Eagles, Ares, and Ally. That's pretty sweet. We got a gold ring. Um, we have Saren Gorowing. Orc Raiders, Muster, Disperses, Test of Form. So one of the cards you can do to test a gold ring to see if it is the one ring. That is one of the cards that I'm definitely wanting to get from this box. I want to get the one ring. I have a copy of the one ring already, but it is in French. And I would like an English version of it. We have Great Eagles, Bill the Pony, Blue Mountain Dwarves. So those are the uncommons. And then for the commons, we got White Mountains, Tempering Friendship, a bunch of these. I'm going to chalk these up to getting like basic lands and old magic packs. Lake Town, Sirith Ungle, beautiful gold ring. Wait, so I think Sirith Ungle is the rare? Yeah, Sirith Ungle is definitely the rare there. And then we have a lot of the cards we have seen before. For the cards that we've seen multiple times, we're just going to go through those pretty quickly. Almost down to the end of these like welded, <laughs> welded together packs. Uh, I've seen this happen with some old Magic packs too, um, that the kind of the ink can stick together on the, the booster packs. So we have Dory, we have Lossoth, that is a faction type card, Damrod, 
Damn rod. And then we have some more like middle common cards, Biffer and Dross Coast. That's pretty cool. Got a little pe little peninsula action there. Secret entrance is the rare. I definitely recognize that one. Cave Drake, Orc Patrol, Ammon Hen, Arouse Denizens. That's a, not a bad card, actually. And I gotta say, man, the card feel on this is excellent. Like old school cardamundi printing is so good. And it's it's definitely still has like that Magic the Gathering smell too, which is which is quite good. Quite good. We has lap we has laps of will. I can speak. We got Glamdring, that's pretty sweet. So those are the uncommons. And then for the commons we have Lorien, Fangorn, Halfling Strength. Let's see what the rare is. Elfstone I don't think is rare. Oh, Return of the King. Yeah, there we go. Pretty good rare. You can build a deck around Return of the King as well. Um, in fact, Return of the King, there's uh, one of the challenge decks is built around that, which is pretty sweet. Um, God, God, dude, it's so rough. It's so rough, all the packs. I feel so bad just kind of like peeling it apart, but I, I gotta, I gotta get to the cards inside. Um, but it's not, dan it's not like damaging. We have a Dancing Spiral, Durin's Axe, Burden of Time. Um, and then we have some commons with the Misty Mountains. Let's see what the rare is. Old Road. I think Dal Guldur is the rare here. Yep, Dal Guldur. That is one of the ones that I have previously. Lost in Free Domains. Beautiful artwork. Concealment. Potion of Prowess. Greed. He's about to rob those jabronis. Didn't know what hit him. God, look at the back here. It looks so bad because I just like peeled it off of the other ones. Got Bombur. Ent Droughts. New Moon, <laughs> New New Moon Tech. We got uh, Anduin River. Is that Anduin back to back? It was back to back. Let's see what our rare is here, though. I think that's what's going to be the spiciest. Ooh, Assassin. Assassin's a really good card. It's one of the few cards that actually attacks multiple times. Um, three attacks of one strike each. Really good card. Uh, Foul Fumes, Twilight. All the elves are going to the Grey Havens. Lost in Shadows, Rescue Prisoners, and some ghouls. Some ghoulish ghouls. So this is the last of the um, Stuck Together packs. And then we just have some normal non-Stuck Together packs. We have Goldberry. It's uncommon. The Cock Crows. We got, we got uh, Bert. He's just one of the trolls. Just one of the trolls. We got a Friend or Three. Elfstone. Lebanon. Gap of Eisen. Linden. Woodman Town. Ooh, Eye of Sauron. Nice. It's a pretty sweet rare. I think this is what it says. The prowess of each automatic attack is increased by one. Alternatively, if Doors of Night is in play, the prowess is increased by three. Dude, pretty sweet. If you're playing like a pretty heavy automatic attack style uh, hazard deck, you can be good on that. And just to show you that not all the packs are like that. Here are the rest of the packs. Totally fine. Well, half of the rest of the packs. There's another stack too. So weird. That that chunk was just like, you know, vac not vacuum sealed, but just welded together. Dragon's Desolation. Ooh, I've never seen that card. Uh, Magic Ring of Nature. Ooh, Eowyn. Is she? Oh, she is. I was going to say, I think she's better against Nazgul. Turns out she is better against Nazgul because, you know, in the books, she's good against Nazgul. She stabs the Witch King in his face. Uh, Tookish Blood or Tookish Blood. Golem's Fate. That's a rare. Pretty good card. If you want to build a deck where you get Golem and you dunk the ring into Mount Doom, I think it's pretty sweet. Got this Cave Drake, Orc Patrol, Amon Hen, Aroused Denizens, and Dark Quarrels. Dark Quarrels is a card that you see come up in uh, the challenge decks a lot. We're going to kind of scoot all of the rares even up higher just because we want to be able to fit more stuff here. The set is uh, pretty big, though I am seeing a lot of rares that I've gotten multiple times throughout other, um, like opening other boxes and stuff. Gollum, Gollum is a, just an uncommon card, which is pretty cool. So if you want to build like a Gollum style deck or a deck that uses Gollum and the one ring, Gollum at least is not that hard to get. Mountains of Shadow, we have Fell Beast. Oh dude, this is the first time I've seen Fell Beast. Just a little new hatch in Fell Beast. That's pretty sweet. Long Winter, Dark Quarrels, Night, Fair Travels in Shadowlands and Orc Watch. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Like I said, this is one of the games that I'm, I'm really excited to open up because I can play it single player. I don't need anyone else to play with me. I don't have to try to convince my girlfriend. I'm like, yo, play this old game from the 90s with me. Got Narsil. 
pretty sweet. Once again, you can forge Narsil into the end we got. A magic ring of lore. Then we got Buffer. You get a lot of dwarves in this middle pack. Like, there's this middle section that has all these, like, areas. And then, you know, sometimes you get a door. Yo, this is uh, Camul the Easterling. This is uh, a Nazgul. Which one is he? He's uh, the second Nazgul. With this giant wall of text down here. Nice. And then we has the, uh, have the Aroused Minions with the, that battering ram. I forget the name of the ram. Does it say it in the, the flavor text? Hammer the Underworld of Old Grand, they named it. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Was Grand in the movie? I'm trying to remember if Grand was in the movie. I, I, I remember it being at least in the extended editions. I don't know if it's in the base version of the movies. Hey, Samwise Gamgee. Got some Wizards Laughter. We got William or uh, Wulaug as a troll. He's, he's, just a, he's just a big old troll, troll bro. Got some Misty Mountains. Ooh, got Elrond. Nice. This picture of Elrond... Doesn't he look like a stoic Native American? I think he does. He looks very, like, regal. We have Lucky Strike. And this is something I really like, by the way. The older interpretations of the characters, like, pre-movie. Because now you think of, like, Elrond and you think of Hugo Weaving, right? You think of Mr. Anderson. But the older interpretations are really cool because it gives you, like, an alternate view into Middle-earth and, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, Orcrist. This is Okris the Foe Hammer. Or is it Orcris the... No, yeah. Orcris the Foe Hammer. Glam during the Goblin, Cle Goblin Cleaver, I think. Uh, Gambling the Old. <laughs> what a what a, what a a title to have. The Old Thrush. Got double old. Double old. Got Gambling the Old and the Old Thrush. This is an ancient pack. All things old. Let's see if our rare will be old too. Is it the One Ring? Ooh, Dwarven Ring of Bavor's Tribe, or Bavor's Tribe. Nice. I think that's one of the ones I do not have. We have Dreams of Lore, Brigands, Testiform, Orc Raiders, and a Dagger of the Westernese. Westernese? I'll say Westernese, but I think it's with an N. Westernese. Now, it feels like I'm cracking into some old school packs here, now that they're all, like, wedged together. The Great Eagles. Great Eagles can go with our, um... Uh, forget his name. Guahir? Guahir? Yeah. Palantir of Orthanc. Not too bad. We have a Dwalin. The Shire. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Tempering Friendship. Lordly Presence. I think this... No, it's not the rare. Oh, dude! Another one of the Ring Wraiths. With the Liz Danforth art. Liz Danforth art is, like, excellent. So this is the fifth Ring Wraith. Akura Dal. Uh, wait, Akura Hill? Akura Hill. Something like that. Really sweet. As I, I struggle to pronounce... Quentin Hoover. Uh, I struggle to pronounce the names of uh, all the random stuff from Middle Earth. I think a moderate break is uh, is in order. It's not easy to pronounce all those names. Unless you're like a Tolkien aficionado. Dory, and I would say I'm not an aficionado. I like Lord of the Rings, and I like Tolkien. And I have read all the books, including the Cimmerillion, but... At the same time, you know, it's not like I'm saying the names out loud. I just read them in my head. And a lot of the times, it's just like reading in my head. It's like, yeah, it's that word. Lucky Search. I think this is a rare. It is a rare. Nice. We have Orc Warriors. Beautiful Gold Ring. Lure of Nature. Test of Lore. You see a lot of the same common cards. I'm not really sure the breakdown between commons, uncommons, and rares on like a print sheet are. Um, and therefore, how often they appear. We got Drowning Seas. Ooh, Magic Ring of Words. That's pretty cool. Got a Haldir. Got a Dwalin. Tempering Friendship. Part of me just wants to skip through to the to the, the sweetness. With another Ring Wraith and Dufanel. Pretty sweet. I think I have this one already. The seventh Nazgul. Seventh of the nine. Slayer. That's nice. Orc Patrol, Elven Cloak. Really nice stuff here. I should really be you know, taking out all of those uh, like land cards. Because I am not going to be using those because I have a map. Men of Lameden. We have Gloin. Old Man Willow. Oh, you know what? I would like to get, in addition to the One Ring, I would like to get Tom Bombadil. Do not have a Tom Bombadil. This is a Dwarven Ring of Durin's Tribe as our rare. And we have River Reforging. Oh, we got, we've completed it. We have Reforging, we have Narsal, and Enduril. Nice. 
I love that kind of stuff. Like the, the, the quest, like the in-game quest type things. Getting a lot of ring rates in this box. I think it would be cool to build a, like a ring rate hazard deck. Pippin, like just with one of each of them. Red Book of Westmarch, Mount Gundabad. I just hear Gundabad and I think goblins. Like any, Gundabad, if you name anything Gundabad and anything, it's just like goblins. That's what it is. The Precious, I think this one is a rare. Yep, it definitely is a rare. And we have Great Road, River, Reforging, Corpse Candle, and Wizard's Test. Don't follow the lights. Still got a lot of packs here. I mean, we were trying to get through like 36 packs, so it stands to reason that it's going to take a little while. Got Stars, the Men of Lebanon. Oh, we got Legolas. I didn't realize Legolas wasn't uncommon. I thought it was rare. Um, but yeah, but, you know, nice to get Legolas. And this is like, you know, your pre-movie Legolas with amazing Quentin Hoover artwork. I love his, like, ink lines. They just, like, they just pop. It's, like, kind of a classic comic book style almost. Uh, we have Hiding. Once again, Quentin Hoover artwork. Um, Hiding is the rare. We have Slayer, the Cairn, Orc Patrol, Elven Cloak, Arouse, <laughs> the Minions. With their big ol' battering ram. Getting down to it. Got some more packs to go, though. Still hoping to see a one ring. Book of Mazarbul. Sapling of the White Tree, that you need this with the White Tree of Gondor in the White Towers. It's a very white centric pack. Um, you get a lot of points, basically. Misty Mountains, True Fauna. This is, um, you know, where he breaks the bridge and, you know, the Balrog falls down into the pits. Very, very cool card. Very sweet. I like it a lot. Got a Hauberk, Awakened Minions, Test of Lore, Orc Warband. And a vanishment. And once again, like look at the depiction of the Balrog in this art. Super cool. Kind of looks like uh, like the demon from Ghosts and Goblins or Ghouls and Ghosts or whatever, doesn't it? It totally does. Like yeah, got Athalos. It's a weed. Dwarven Ring of Thrars Tribe. Nice. Getting all the Dwarven Rings. I think they're actually pretty good cards too. Once again, I think we're just going to flip through these a little bit quicker. Andrew River, Palantir of Osgiliath. I think this is our rare. I don't think I have one of these. I might. I might. Uh, Stealth with Quentin Hoover artwork. Healing Herbs, Quentin Hoover artwork. It's like his artwork is so, like, um, distinctive. You can just pick it out. You can flip through and you can be like, oh, yeah, that's Quentin Hoover. Like, other modern artists are like that, too. You know, you can tell if it's Magali Villeneuve or um, who else? Like uh, Raymond Swanland, I guess. You can tell. So you have Barrel White. It's pretty cool. I think I love how his cloak is all like the night sky. Super cool. Uh, Balin, one of the uncommon dwarves. And let's flip through these until we get to the rare. Sacrifice of Form. I think this is the rare. Very interesting card. I'm not exactly sure what it does. It does have a little novel there <laughs> in the text box. That is probably one of the, the other things about this game. It's, it's like almost an RPG. It's a card game, you know, you build decks and you, you know, play cards, but it's it's basically an RPG. It's like a Lord of the Rings RPG. Torque of Hughes, was it? Quentin Hoover? Yep, Quentin Hoover. Um, the Galadriel, or Earth of Galadriel's Orchard. Got the Evan Star. Beautiful. Looks like an album cover. Tell me that's not a Nightwish album cover. Yeah. We have, ooh, another dragon. How do you pronounce this dude? It's like Lou Caruth. Lou Carith. Yeah. Either way, Red Dragon, really sweet. Red Dragon, that's not smog, I guess I should say. Still got a good number of packs here. If I had to guess, maybe uh, nine or so. Something like that. Cracks of Doom, still looking for the one ring. Pickpocket. He's going he's gonna to pickpocket smog. I love it. We have uh, Barlamond Butterbur. What an amazing name. What an absolutely astounding name. Biffer. Thief. I think Thief is the rare. We have Orc Watch. Horses. Aroused Denizens. Secret Passage. Love the old school artwork. Who did this one? Is this a Liz Danforth? This is Kevin Ward. Love the old school artwork. I love how they gave Gandalf, you know, Gandalf the Grey, like a blue outfit. Wasn't Gandalf blue in... Like the cartoon as well. Yo, Aomer. I have not seen Aomer. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, Knights of Dol Am Amroth. We got Burgle. <laughs> he's, just, he's just Burgle. Uh, let's see. So the rare is going to be this card that I've never seen before. This is Moranon. This is a permanent event. Interesting. It's too much to read here, but interesting. Got some horses. We don't need no stinking horses. We already got Shadow Facts. We have, like, the best horse. The best of all horses. We have uh, Dimril Dale, Great Shield of Rohan, Magic Ring of Courage. When you just need a little bit of that extra, extra courage. Um, wait, I think the rare is going to be Tolphalos. Or Tolphalos. Yeah, that's how, you, that's how you say it. I think I've already gotten one of the Tolphalos's um, in one of the starter decks, I think. I already have a Tolphalos, is basically what I'm getting at. Um, it's actually good to collect all of the locations because you can basically just have them all. Like, just, just run them all. They don't take up slots in your deck, so might as well. So we have Lure of Creation. I just got some Hillman. Got uh, Baratar. Edelhond. I love the artwork on Edelhond there. It's very... Yo, Smog! Nice! I was going to say the artwork is very enchanting. This is Smog. We kind of weird looking smog, but I'm down. I'm down to get smog. Always down to get some iconic characters there. Wolves, giant spiders. I mean, wolves and giant spiders are pretty iconic. Lord of the Rings fauna. Let's see, we got a lesser ring. Still pretty good. A little lesser ring. Got some fog. The dead marshes. That's what they're called. We have rare is oh dude Shelob's lair, really sweet. I love the, the shadow here. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And then we have um, this crow dude, Gladdenfield's gloom. Gloom looks like an old school magic art card. It looks like the art from like Bad Moon. I think is the name of the card from Magic. Looks very very similar. We have a magic ring of stealth. Just a feely. Mirror of Galadriel. Wouldn't mind getting... Well, I already have a Galadriel. I, I would like some other stuff instead. Oh, the White Tree. Nice. So we did get that sapling earlier. Now we got the White Tree. Um, this is the rare. Pretty decent point value card there. Thorough Search. Yep, some of the same style things. Two more packs to go for this box. But like I said, stay tuned for box openings of the Dark Minions and the White Hand. Got Mary, got Ring Lore, dude. Look at that dude. He looks like like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like from uh, Conan, doesn't he? He looks like Conan, the Barbarian. Got Tom, Tom Hiddleston. Not really. He's, he's the troll. Tom the troll. Hobbits. I think this is a rare. It's just the Hobbits with Quentin Hoover artwork. What is a Hobbit faction? So it's a Hobbit faction. Hobbits. Playable at bag end. If the influence check is greater than eight, standard modification hobbits plus four. Ah. So if you have a, a, if they love you, if you have a really high influence check, they are worth five points. Hmm. Interesting. You can make a hobbit deck where all you do is try to recruit, <laughs> recruit hobbits. I guess it's unique. You can only recruit them once. In any case, this is the last pack. We got Wake of War. We got your Leaf Lock. Get, get your Ent. Oleg High Trolls. Ooh, that's cool. And we have some locations. Elf Stone's a pretty good card. Uh, Lake Town, Old Road. I think Great Ship is the final rare for this box. Playable on a company during the organization phase. It's a short event. Interesting. I wonder if it helps you, like, cross the seas. Without reading it, I bet that's what it does. Because that's what this game's all about. It's all about the flavor. We got a good number of dragons and ring rates here, though. This is a pretty good box for the um, for hazards, I think. So yeah, we got three of the ring rates and one of their fell beasts, and three of the dragons. Yeah, I, mean, I just love opening this game. The cards, everything about it. I just I just love it all. It's it's so cool. It's it's almost like um, it gives you that sense of wonder and adventure, in my opinion. Anyway, if you like the video, then maybe leave a like, comment, subscribe. Every little bit helps and I appreciate it oh so much. Maybe check out my Patreon. If you'd like to support me and help me keep doing these type of videos, I would appreciate it oh so much more than you know. 
But regardless of what you do, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time for some more card game content. Like I said, I've got Dark Minions and the White Hand coming up eh, shortly. We'll see you later.